Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another monthly collective haul video where I am going to be talking about in speed review manner about all the products that I purchased in the previous month. Most of these products have been already featured in uh, videos either in um, new makeup try on videos or dedicated videos. Some of these products I just had my hands on and I will still share some of my thoughts but I think more content will be coming on my channel in a little bit more detailed manner. However I will still share some of my thoughts on those products. This is the type of video that I do on a monthly basis and if you're new here I would love to welcome you here on my channel and if you're not new welcome back so good to have you here if you enjoy this video enjoy my company today give this video a thumb up and if you're not yet a subscriber I invite you to subscribe to my channel and now without further ado let's get into all the products that I purchased last month I have some exciting products to share with you today. A lot of these are makeup, a lot of these are drugstore. A lot of these products are really, really good quality and I am uh, very excited to talk about those and uh, hope you are too. The first item that I'm gonna be talking about today is this uh, My Mini Dream Glow Blush. And this is this teeny tiny little thing. This is a newly launched item from Natasha Denona. I have already featured this in the video tryout. And um, there was also a giveaway in that video. I have to say that I really like this blush. I am very happy that she launched mini size. I think it's incredible quality. The blushes are very pigmented and uh, you need to go like light handed. I did find the brush in my collection that's a little bit more in a smaller frame that fits right into it. And it's a highlighting brush from Sigma. I featured that in the video where I tried this blush if you need to refer to it. This highlighter is definitely more on the subtle side, but it's very smooth and it's buildable. So you definitely can build up the intensity a little bit. I really enjoy this palette. I didn't pick up the palette, the mini eyeshadow palette for myself because I felt like I could live without it, but one of them went out to you guys as well as one of these blushes and then went out in the giveaway box and I hope you enjoyed it. The next product that I picked up is something that I told you I would pick up. It's the blush from Pat McGrath in the shade Nude Venus. I told you that initially I tried the Lip Trio in her Nude Venus shade and I fell in love with the shade so much that I realized that they had a blush in this uh, shade and I went ahead and purchased this for my birthday. Stunning formula, super pigmented, but lasts all day. I'm happy I got it because it's beautiful. So since we already started talking about complexion products, let's continue with complexion. Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. I had mine in shade Hey Honey. I featured this already in my new makeup try on video. I think the shade is nice and the formula is really nice. However, this is a formula that is self-setting. It grabs to the skin considerably fast. So it is definitely workable. It is a really nice quality. My best recommendation of using this is working in the smaller sections. Don't try to apply it everywhere and then blend because you're not gonna have enough time to blend it. It's gonna grab to your skin. Overall, it is a really lovely quality that turns from cream to powder. It kind of sets into this soft matte finish, melt into your skin really lovely. So it doesn't look like a natural on skin. Also go with a little bit higher pigment right away, grab a little bit more products and then shear it out because I noticed that once it sets into the powder finish and you're trying to add more to it, it starts becoming patchy. So those are my thoughts on this product, but overall the quality is really nice. So another complexion product, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm. I got mine in the shade Universal. What a stunning packaging, you guys. I have already featured this product again in my tryout of new makeup products video. And uh, I have to say that this is a high quality product. It feels like it's a high quality product product. However, it's not controlling my oils, you all. Two, three hours, I am very, very shiny. And uh, remind you, we are in uh, winter right now. Even though I'm in Florida and it's still not super cold here, but it is cold. This product does not control my oils. Also, it's not very poor smoothing, poor filling product, even though it does have that as a statement. So overall, it feels like a high quality product. It does have a really wonderful texture. It's unscented, all these wonderful things. However, it had very big claims on it. And uh, I don't think it works for me that way. I continue using this right now that we're in winter, but I think come like March, April, when the weather starts becoming really warm here in Florida, I don't think I will be reaching for it. So the next two complexion products are these two concealers. I did feature them again in the video, my try on video. I also do have a reel on the True Match concealer as well if you wanted to quickly check it out. So let's talk about the True Match concealer first and then I will talk about the Revlon after. So True Match um, concealer, I got mine in the shade Light C2 and it was a very nice brightening shade for me. A few things about this concealer, very nice uh, doe foot applicator and this is a very thin formula that is 
self-setting. It is more on your lighter coverage and buildable to like medium. I like how thin the formula is. I like that it is self-setting. However, this concealer smells heavily like alcohol. And once you apply it on your skin, the scent of alcohol lingers. And uh, the skin around eyes is so gentle for all people. I just feel like I am uncomfortable using this around my eyes going forward. So as far as their Revlon concealer, this is called uh, Color Stay Flex Wear Full Coverage Concealer. And I had mine in the shade 015 Light. This concealer had like a larger, pretty standard doe foot applicator. And this concealer has a thicker consistency and a pretty full coverage right away. And it blends really nicely. This concealer also has a level of hydration. So it's not self-setting. You would need to set this with a powder. However, there is one small thing about this concealer. Specifically for me, on my eyes, it looks good only in certain circumstances. I have to prep my eye in a certain way and I have to set it with a specific powder. Otherwise, it starts like crumbling. I feel like it's very sensitive to the products, to the other products that you're combining it with. The best powder that I've tried with this concealer was the Huda Beauty powder. It has to be very finely milled powder and quite mattifying. So if you use a powder that's a little bit like thicker, it clumps up the product right away. Also, I have to apply it after a while after I applied my skincare. So my skincare has to be completely fully absorbed like 30 minutes plus before I start applying this. If I go right after when my skincare is just like freshly applied, it starts clumping up. So it's a good product overall, but it has those like small nuances. The next concealer that I have here is a Pro Fix Stick from NYX. This is a correcting concealer and I got mine in the shade 02 Fair. This, this is the shade, it's very, very brightening. But I have to tell you, I haven't tried this product on camera yet, but I intend later on. This concealer has a really nice creamy texture. However, it is more on a lighter coverage. It blends really nicely, but it, because it is a lighter coverage and it's very creamy, it almost like blends away from your skin. It gives me a brightening effect, but I don't think it actually covers because it's that creamy formula that shears out as you blend it. So these are my initial thoughts, but I'm again still testing it because I already heard so many good things about this concealer. I was like, well, it doesn't work like this for me. So I definitely need to play around with this more, but this is what I think about this right now. Another product that I picked up and I'm so excited about this, you guys. This is a newly launched Bare Minerals Bare Pro Skin Perfecting Matte Liquid Foundation. You know, I just uh, recently finished mine. As a matter of fact, in my last episode of Stash of Trash or Beauty Empties video, you saw the sister foundation. I am very excited about this foundation. This shade is light 21 neutral. So they match me to three different shades and I selected this one. It's definitely a self tanning shade for me. So I've tried it so far two times in my own time. I haven't done like a video on this yet, but I'm excited to share my thoughts with you. It's uh, very promising. I hope that they improve this bomb because the last one was really messy, but I'm very excited to feature this in my upcoming video. So stay tuned. The next complexion product. This little thing here from Makeup Revolution. This is their new highlighter and I got mine in the shade Diamond Glow. The weird thing about this is that the shade is written here, but the name for the product uh, is not on the packaging. I really like how compact this is and um, the packaging seems to be somewhat sturdy. If you watch my declutter series, I've decluttered a Makeup Revolution highlighter that I've loved for so many years and the packaging broke and I am not doing broken packaging anymore in 2024. This is a new highlighter that joined my collection and I think it's absolutely stunning, you all. This is a baked formula and it's blinding. It is blinding and I'm fine with this. I'm perfectly fine with this. I'm not yet ready to let go of my glowy skin. I love glowy skin. I'm a combo oily skin and um, I... Uh, always try to kind of use all the products that are controlling my oils and somewhat mattifying me. So I always like to bring that glow back to my to my skin, to my complexion with a touch bit of highlighter. And um, I love my highlighters. And uh, I really enjoy this formula. It's definitely blinding, but it's very beautiful and smooth. And I think it came in like five different shade variations, which I think is excellent. I have another product that I picked up for my birthday. If you watch my birthday vlog, you know why I purchased this product. You know why I purchased this product? Because we went out of town and I forgot to pack powder in my bag. Yes, yes I did. So I had to run to a local Ulta and purchase a powder. And at that moment I was not gonna purchase anything high-end. And I specifically wanted to get loose powder. And uh, this is the only powder that they had in my shade in a loose version in the drugstore. Uh, this is a bacon set setting powder from Amorphe. And I got mine in the shade Brightening Pink. I will tell you, it's not necessarily pink. Once you apply it to your face, again, I've used this in a video, you've probably already seen it there, but it is definitely brightening. It's definitely brightening and it's super matte. It is super matte. It is also very thin formula. 
it is also quite smoothing on skin. This is just not the brand that I feature on my channel or choose to support. However, I needed powder for my birthday and this is what I ended up with, but thank goodness it ended up being a really good quality. It's uh, long wearing, it's smoothing, it's very thin, it's uh, mattifying, it's long lasting. It's also quite drying, so you need a little bit of it. So you can just take a brush and dust it on your face and that's gonna be just enough. If you put too much, it will dry you out, even if you are oily. So uh, again, I don't really feature Morphe uh, on my channel or choose not to purchase from them. Y'all, I have so many lip products and majority of them are from drugstore because drugstore, went crazy at the end of the year and then the beginning of January and they just launched all these amazing products. Let me talk about them towards the end of the video because there's just good handful of these products. I want to talk about a few other things that I purchased and repurchased and that are in a different department. So this is called Juno Skin Clean 10 Cleansing Balm from Juno Company. Heard about this brand, I've never tried anything from them, but I purchased this balm off of Amazon. There's just water dripping from this because I just pulled it out of my shower to show it to you, but long story short, as you can see, the container is almost empty and you will most probably see this in my next empties video. This is actually pretty good quality. This is very effective at removing your makeup. It does leave a little bit of a film initially. You just need to rinse your face a little extra bit longer and then it's perfectly fine. It doesn't dehydrate your skin or strip your skin. So the quality is really nice. I'm very happy with it. The container is very nice and somewhat compact. There's no wasted space to it. Once you open it, the entire tub is full with product. I also have repurchased my Neutrogena Cleansing Balm. This is a makeup remover melting balm. This is my third one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but this is still sealed. I haven't opened this one yet. This is my go-to travel product. This is a cleansing balm that turns into almost like milk on your skin and it is so effective removing everything from your face and uh, also leaves that hydration and there is no residue no film left over it's just really really good product when i use this i do not need a secondary cleanser because this does an incredible job that's why it's just so useful for traveling because you only take one product with you you only get two ounces of product here it's a little bit smaller container but it's so perfect for traveling i usually just buy it and only keep it for my travels it's just an incredible formula i really like this then here you go another restock for the next year. I usually go through like three or four of these throughout one year. And uh, this is a brush bath from It Cosmetics for Ulta. It brushes for Ulta. So they repackage these bottles, though this one kind of looks a little bit cheapy or a lot cheapy. So I hope they bring the older packaging back, but the size is the same. This is pretty much an essential item for me. This is a must have in my rotation because I play a lot with makeup here. I do multiple looks tutorials here on my channel. So this product definitely comes in a very handy. I have been repurchasing this product for many years now but hang on there, I have a surprise for you. So I received this product from Salon Perfect. I am on their PR list and they send me all their goodies. So this is just a simple bottle. You get uh, 6.5 fluid ounces, just like a simple unscrew top. And this is a no rinse makeup cleanser. Additional portion to this refill cleanser is this little guy. So you would get these three items in a set. So it's a small amount, small container of this cleanser. You get this little container. It's um, like a metal container that just opens up like that. Of course, I need to drop stuff around. And then you get this little towel, just like a little wash towel. It's like a very soft washcloth. Y'all, drop whatever you were doing. Just stop and please pay attention because this is important right here. This is a life changer right here. You guys know, if you've been here for a while, you know that I was looking for a replacement, like more affordable alternative for my brush bath. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I tried a bunch of different ones that were available at that time, but nothing would come close in quality and effectiveness. This is a dupe. All you need to do is just basically pour a tiny bit in this little cup, dip your brush, just the tip of it, because the liquid just gets absorbed by the bristles of the brush, and you just wipe it on the little towel. Your brushes are clean, free of grease, and uh, the stains come off really easily. Here you get 3.4 ounces, and here you get 6.5. This is twice of a size. This is available at Walmart. If this type of product is in your makeup routine, run, don't walk. And now that I have tried this, this is gonna be my go-to product. I got this in PR package after I already repurchased my 
three bottles. I'm gonna keep all of them because I run through this product and I really like this. I already have an empty one of these, so I'm just going to put this in a spray bottle maybe, but I also like this container. It's also very comfortable to use. This is a wonderful product, super effective, affordable, and uh, wonderful discovery. So I wanted to do a few honorable mentions to eyeshadow palettes. I am still going to be filming my monthly ranking. This is something that I do on a monthly basis here on my channel. If you're new, I show you looks, swatches, etc., and I go into very nitty-gritty details about eyeshadow palettes that I've tried and purchased in the previous month. This palette I purchased in December for my birthday and this is a beauty right here. This is a Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction. What's on my eyes is one of the looks from this palette. I also have done a dedicated video on this palette. I know this is not a new palette by all means. It's been around for some time but this palette is new to me. I wanted to do a dedicated video on this palette because I know a lot of you have this palette. I think I did four look tutorials in that video so it actually may be already out when you're watching this video. So I'll have, of course, link it for you in the description box for you to check it out. But I have a lot of thoughts to share with you, but one thing, she's a beauty. She's definitely a beauty. Another palette that was uh, sent to me in the PR and it's now available, New Zealand Stargazing from Nomad Cosmetics. Again, I do have a dedicated video for this palette when the palette was launched. That video is already live on my channel and I shared five look tutorials uh, with you in that video. I share all my detailed thoughts on uh, this palette in that video and of course you will see it in my ranking, in my monthly ranking uh, next time. But uh, in a nutshell, this is a uh, very good quality palette, a very consistent quality for mattes and shimmers and all the shimmers. There's six shimmers here and they're all multi-chromes. I do have a code with Nomad. It's Eve 10 that saves you 10% off if you decide to purchase this palette. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Another palette that finally made it to me, you guys, the Dreamer from Unearthly. Absolutely stunning design and uh, the color story is so pretty. It's so pretty. I will tell you what, I have not touched it yet. I have uh, done swatches on this palette already, but I have not put it on my eyes yet. I'm very excited. Maybe I will film with this like tomorrow, the day after, but I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and film looks with this, but you will see the dedicated video on this palette definitely. Now I have this basket here and it's full with Kiko Milano products. I've done a dedicated video on this and that video is already live on my channel, so I'll have it linked for you here. If you're interested about the brand, Please watch that video because there's so many favorites here. You will definitely see some of these products in my monthly favorites. Kiko Milani is an Italian beauty brand and all the products made in Italy, they are well under $20. Majority of all these products are well under $20 and they perform like high end. The quality of these products is just spectacular. This foundation just surprised me so much. I did not expect to like it. I was kind of nervous about the Kiko foundation and this foundation, it's called Unlimited Foundation. It's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It wears beautifully. It gives you a little bit of hydration and just looks so good on skin. Then uh, Sculpting Touch Contouring Stick, also so gorgeous. I had mine in the shade 200. It is so beautiful. I'll show you the swatch here. It is a contouring stick. However, it's not like gray or ashy. It just looks so good on a fair complexion. This gloss, y'all, it's called 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. Oh my God. If I would tell you to buy one single product out of all the Kiko products that I've tried, this gloss. This gloss is just my new holy grail. Like they have so many different ones in the range. There's so many different colors and shades. And I think they just recently launched the ones that are like pearlescent. I think pearlescent lips coming back. Coming back, I'm not sure I'm ready for that trend yet because I don't know, it's just, uh, I'm not ready for it. I'm not mentally ready for it. But this is in the shade 03. It's quite transparent. Let's watch this here. So it's quite transparent, but it gives you a lot of shine and the formula is thin and it's very cushiony. It's like a balm. It's called a lip gloss, but it feels like a balm. It's very thin, but it also gives you like the super shiny, glossy lips. So gorgeous. I'm head over heels with this gloss. And I also absolutely love the shape of this. It's flat. So if I have like my wallet or something that's, you know, smaller purse, it just fits right in. Also got the highlighter, the highlighter is stunning. It is called Glow Fusion Powder Highlighter. It's also very tiny. The packaging is really like aesthetically pleasing. It looks like a gun metal. It's just a very, very smooth and subtle highlighter, like that glow from within. Looks very expensive on skin. That's all I'm gonna say. I do love my brighter highlighters, but I also don't mind to have something like this for variants because there's definitely a time and a place for products like this. Then I also tried the concealer. It's called Full Coverage Dark Circles Concealer beautiful formula, hydrating, blends easily, it does build up, it's brightening, it wears really well. I also tried a loose powder and also a eyeshadow palette. Please go and check it out that video if you're interested because there's just so many good finds and you will definitely, definitely see a lot of these products in my monthly favorites. Now let's get into the lips and I'm gonna go through this considerably quick because I have a lot, you guys. So the first one is a lip oil from 
e.l.f. And I got mine in a shade Coral Fixation. This is called Glow Reviver Lip Oil. A very nice a large doe foot applicator. We've seen this doe foot applicator style uh, from different products lately. This is so good, you guys. This is very good as a topper. I love the shine that it gives. Let me just apply it right now so you would see. This just makes my lips so juicy. I think this is now my favorite like topping gloss. I definitely think that is not a lip oil to my opinion. I think of a lip oil as something that's very liquidy and very thin. This is definitely a gloss. It does have a little bit of thickness to it and it has something minty. So I personally don't think this is a lip oil. It just, in my understanding, it doesn't fit into my description, my personal description. But again, this is my five cents here. But as a topper for your lip colorful lip products, spectacular. Then another product that I'm absolutely head over heels about is this new product from Milani. I can't remember the name for it. I'll pop it here on the screen for you. I got mine in a shade 110 Lustful. I'll just watch it for you here. This is a shade and it's so balmy. So I think this product just fits into the description. It's like your super hydrating, like tinted balm formula. This product feels high end and it looks high end. It looks um, absolutely incredible. It's like I felt like my lips look so, so good and hydrated and the color is gorgeous. One thing that I wish they would do differently is to make the bullet itself thinner because this is such a hydrating formula and I feel like it's a little bit too big. I feel like if you have smaller lip frame, then it's gonna be a little bit messy. So I wish for this formula, for how hydrating it is, I wish they would make a bullet thinner. But other than that, the formula is spectacular and I definitely want more shades. Another product that Milani launched, listen, Milani can do lip products. We already know that. Uh, they launched Color Fetish Hydrating Lip Stain and I got mine in a shade 130 Rose Rising. This is the lip stain we've all been waiting for because this lip stain stains. This doe food applicator makes a lot of sense for the consistency of the product. This has very, very hydrating formula and it's called hydrating lip stain. I think they nailed it formula. I don't think there is a better lip stain on the market right now, to my opinion. I've tried a good handful of them in the past year because it's been like a big trend and a bunch of different brands started doing their own versions. I think this is the best one so far. I've tried from high end and from drugstore. This is hydrating. This is beautiful. This is easy to apply. This stains your lips and the staining lasts on my lips for like a good half a day. I actually like to top this off with this e.l.f. gloss and these two together is like candy. So then I picked up this duo from Natasha Denona. So I actually purchased this together with a mini My Dream palette and the blush. And I was intending to use these two products and the, the video together. But then once I received it, I realized that this is completely different, like shade and undertone. They would not go together with a blush. Um, I got my gloss in I Need a Rose and I got my pencil in the shade Michelle. So these are more of like your warmer tone, like honey shade and uh, great quality. I am very happy with this gloss. I, so this is a swatch for the gloss. It's beautiful. It's a little bit transparent. It does have like micro shimmers in it. So it gives you like a little bit of sparkly lip. And then this is in the shade Michelle for the pencil. Well, this is a really nice and neutral shade, but the formula is really lovely. It's more of like your true gel formula that you need to correct. A lot of times I just need a concealer brush to correct the line because it is quite soft formula, but it's beautiful and it wears really well. Another lip liner that I really loved, and, and I did try this lip liner in my new makeup try on video. This is a signature lip liner from Mora Cosmetics. I got mine in the shade Posh Pink. This is a shade, a very beautiful, like soft mauve rosy. I love the name for it, Posh Pink. This formula is spectacular. Like forget high-end products. This is 850 and this is super beautiful pigmented creamy doesn't tug on lips super long wearing this literally does not come off of your lips i definitely want more shades the next product nyx fat oil slick click do you guys know what i'm about to say yes it is a clicky packaging as a matter of fact this is the shade right here. As you can see, it's very pigmented. It's very shiny. It's actually also, it is a balm formula, but it gives you this like intense pigment and intense shine. It looks so good on your lips, but why the clicky packaging? Why the clicky packaging? You know how I feel about it. I just don't like this packaging. I think the packaging is absolutely faulty. I don't understand. The formula of this product is incredible, but I use a lip brush to apply this on my lips because this packaging is awful. Then I picked up the lip product from Juvia's Place. So this is their plumping lip balm version. I can't remember the name right now because it's not on the packaging. I'll pop it here on the screen. I got mine in the shade True Nude. This is super beautiful color. I hope you guys see. The same thing with this packaging. It's not a clicky packaging, but you need to twist it. It's a twist up. Same concept as a clicky packaging. I do not understand why they did this because this is a very, very creamy formula super beautiful, beautiful, it's pigmented, it's hydrating, it's high shine, 
but this packaging is awful. It's messy, it's goopy, it scrapes on your lips, it gives you uneven application, I just do not understand. So last product for today's video, but not least, also from Juvia's Place, this is a their holographic liquid eyeliner and I got mine in the shade Unique. Here's a swatch right here. It definitely shifts from like purple to silver to pink. It definitely has a interesting dimension to it and the brush is really nice and long. Tried it both ways as an eyeliner, as an eyeshadow all over my lid. Um, as an eyeliner, it's beautiful. It was really easy to apply. I did, however, needed to do like few layers to give it full opacity, but it looks beautiful. Um, however, I applied it all over my lid and uh, it just clumped up everywhere. I think when you apply it on a larger surface in a higher amount it just doesn't dry as fast and I was trying to sit with my eyes like this like look down so my lids were open but eventually I blinked and I think everything just clumped up so I don't think it's a really good idea to use it as a eyeshadow but again this is not one of the statements they didn't say it's gonna work as an eyeshadow it was just like my pure tryout but as an eyeliner it's super beautiful so, so these are all the products that I wanted to share with you today as for the eyeshadow palettes stay tuned for my uh, monthly ranking video where I go more in details with swatches with looks etc so make sure you subscribe to not to miss um, any of that content that interests you. I also started a new series on my channel called New Makeup Releases where we talk about new makeup launches, everything that's been sneak peeked or released or launched. If you enjoyed this video, give this a big thumb up. If you're not yet a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Thanks so much for watching, hanging out with me today, and I will see you in my next videos. Bye.